Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to our very first Ocean Decade Laboratory, an inspiring and engaging ocean. Science has and continues to play a much broader role in policy making and behavioural change. So you don't stop by enjoying the beach, which is a great starting point, but then also thinking a little bit deeper. Is that also possible for the next generation? So the value proposition of a decade is really to transform our future and redefining our relationship with the ocean. And needing to understand that, how we can get people to care and inspire and and a system is not just about the knowledge, it's very much about connecting to those spaces. A key lesson from both COVID and climate change is the importance of a plurality of scientific disciplinary inputs. Historically, more information has led to, to greater industrialization and unsustainable behavior and actions taken on the ocean. Okay, so there's, there's power issues at play. We really need to ask who needs inspiration and for what engagement. So not just diagnosing problems um, and really led in collaboration with coastal communities. The question is, can you actually measure people's connection to the ocean so that we can see the change that was instilled by our initiatives? Can you measure that? Um, but yeah, there's, there's more work to be done to really understand how we can measure change in that emotional connection. For me, the greatest motivator is is love. Uh, I'm completely driven by that, you know, passion I have for the ocean. Wherever you are, find your water and connect with it, even if you're not by the coast. <laughs> what is the role of change makers, of influences, of innovation, and of coalition from a diverse sectors? If we truly want to reach millions or billions of people around the world over the course of this ocean decade, we need to partner with organizations who already do that. I also want to stress the importance of working with smaller local organizations. We felt that uh, as the ocean race, we had an opportunity. So using the power of sport to inspire change was a very powerful program. You know, we've selected the cream of the crop to be able to make sure that no one is left behind. No matter how far we are from each other, we all speak the language of ocean and we can all play our parts, the smallest and the largest ways possible. We face harsh realities and the, the language of science and policy often do not reach our ears because they're not addressing our needs. And the vision of the ECOP program is to elevate and strengthen the diverse perspectives of new generations of ocean professionals in a collective voice, ensuring that knowledge is transferred between experienced and early career professionals to pr promote sustainability. What we are trying to do here is in the decade is exactly to bring together the knowledge, the emotion, the passion. You know, we have to be more responsible and more strong um, to convince policy makers and the big um, players in the industries that use a lot of plastic to stop and demand them to change. Now, this really brings us to the end of the first uh, Ocean Decade Laboratory. Mm -hmm.